Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So obviously today we are taking a look at the Barbie movie doll, uh, Western Barbie, which is a doll that I just recently got. She has been one that has proven tricky to get a hold of. Um, of course, I did not get her uh, when she was first released because I was, quite frankly, I was a little bit put off by the price point. But over time, I came to accept it. And then back in October, she went back in stock in Target um, on the app. And she did not uh, get here until December 5th, I think. But um, it is time that we get her out of the box and take a look at her. So here she is. She's got a really pretty face. I don't see any problems with the screening. I really like the Margot Robbie mold, but I am also a big fan of the Millie mold. Um, and you can see that her hairline, to be honest, is a little out of whack, but uh, luckily she does have a hat to cover that up. The earrings, I was just checking to see if they were ones that were easily removable, and it looked like they are not intended to be removed. Um, and I was impressed to see the quality of the like closure pieces on the clothing. I do wish that some of the details were stitched instead of printed on. I feel like for the price point, you know, that would have been reasonable. But, you know, what do I know? I know Mattel is a business and they've got to make their money. So I'm not going to complain too much because I'm still very happy with the doll. The boots, I had no idea how cool the boots were on this doll. I love the mixture of silver and gold. These are just as good as, as cowgirl boots get. You can see that she's got some box hair here. Her hair needs a little bit of help, um, but that's okay. She's she's in the right place for that at least. It's, um, it's pretty crunchy, but uh, it looked really pretty in the box, which obviously the intention is to have the dolls look in the box. So if you decide to leave the doll in box, then uh, you have her looking beautiful. And then when she comes out of the box, you know, you change her to how an out of the box collector would like her. So the hair being box hair or there being gel in the hair isn't something that bothers me. And then she looks really good with her little hat on. So I'm definitely happy with that. And I'll give you a 360 view of her just so you can take her all in. Uh, there was one thing that, that I, I I might eventually put her on a made to move uh, body just because those are my preference. Uh, but you know, for, for right now, this level of articulation, it's like, you know, it's pretty good. It's kind of like the next tier down from made to move. So I'm, I'm good with it for right now. And of course, this doll comes with a stand, which is always appreciated um, and definitely makes sense for something that's being sold at a collector level. And then here, I just wanted to show you her face close up uh, because it is very pretty. I remember when, you know, the, the Margot Robbie face got shown off and people were not happy with it at first, but I think those were just unflattering pictures because um, it's actually really pretty. And then I just wanted to take a moment to show you uh, the Barbie movie collection that I have going so far. So of course we have the pink jumpsuit Barbie uh, from Target, which I love that jumpsuit. I think that she's such a great price point uh, for what you get. And there's of course um, the fashion pack. I was really fortunate that this just happened to go back in stock at Target for like a few seconds and I was able to snatch it up. Of course it came with uh, three outfits. And then, of course, there's the rollerblading Barbie uh, that is exclusive to Walmart. The rollerblading Ken is definitely tempting, but so far the only Ken I have from the Barbie movie is um, the Sugar Daddy Ken, which, honestly, of all of the Kens to have, uh, I'm glad that he is the one that I do. I did do a review of him on my channel, and I just think that his outfit pieces are absolutely amazing. Here is just an overview of them. And then I figured that I would separate them out so you could see these were the three outfits that came in the fashion pack. Initially, I thought that the fashion pack price was too expensive, so I decided not to get it, and then it went out of stock, and then I regretted it, and I thought, well, for three outfits of this quality from the Barbie movie, uh, 
it felt it felt worth it and and justifiable to me i mean the the pieces are really beautiful they're like i say it a lot but they're like human sized clothing only on a tiny scale so that's always super appreciated and i really liked the fashion pack because i could put them on me to move um barbies <laughs> and then here are the three of the more play line dolls so not the collector level um that i have of course you've got the target exclusive on the left and the walmart exclusive on the right and then the very first barbie movie doll that i got it was the one smack dab in the middle and um that was that was very exciting when i saw her dress it didn't matter uh what her face looked like i knew that i really wanted this doll for the dress alone and then when she arrived i saw how pretty her face was and i was like yeah this is good this is good so i'm very happy with the um margot robbie barbies um yeah at least for like specifically barbie movie dolls like i probably i prefer the millie mold to be honest for like uh you know non barbie movie dolls but i don't think that that's something that uh, we have to worry about i think margot robbie's likeness is is very much only being used for barbie movie dolls and um this pink jumpsuit i absolutely love i would love to get an alan doll and dress him in this pink jumpsuit like he wears in the movie i think that would be just amazing and then um here we have the collector level Barbie and Ken that I have from the Barbie movie, of course. And I think that they look really good together, that the green and the pink just, it really vibes. And this Ken, he was one of those surprise drops. I just got an email through that Sugar's Daddy, Sugar's Daddy Ken was available on Mattel Creations and I immediately clicked through and then had to make a split second decision because he sold out really quickly. I didn't, I don't know how fast I expected him to sell out, but he definitely sold out faster than anticipated. And then guys, I'm going to go ahead and peace out here and just leave you with a video of each individual Barbie movie doll that I have in my collection because I think that they're very beautiful and I thoroughly enjoy just staring at dolls and if you're here I'm assuming that you do too so enjoy this little bit of footage here and of course thank you so so much for watching I really 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 appreciate it and I hope that you will consider subscribing and have a fantastic rest of your day bye for now guys